The WWDC keynote, Apple's biggest event of the year, has just taken place. And one of the coolest things they showed is the new macOS 26 Taco, sorry, Taho. And it's the biggest update macOS had in years. So in this video, we'll already try it out and explore all the new features. All right, let's dive right into it. And the first thing you'll notice is the new wallpaper, which shines in dark mode and in light mode. I stick to the dark mode. And the second thing you'll notice is that the mouse cursor looks slightly different. But of course, the most obvious thing in this build of macOS is the new design. So for example, if I open the App Store, you will already see the new sidebar and everything is slightly transparent or totally transparent like the menu bar. Apple calls this liquid glass. And since I have the dark mode enabled, my icons are dark too. And if I enable the light mode, my icons and widgets become white. But there are two other modes for icons and widgets and I think they are pretty cool. So if you open the system settings app and then go to appearance, you can choose between default, which is the light version, dark, the dark version, clear, just a cleared liquid glass version of the icons, of course just the supported ones, and tinted as bad as we know it from the iPhone. Like who invented this? I really like the dark version of the icons and I think I'll stick with that. Also there's a new spotlight with a new design and more features, but unfortunately all the new features aren't available yet so I have just the new design. You can see the new design pretty good when I launch an app like photos, I get this new interface. And you'd probably think that this icon here launches the launch pad. Well no, it launches spotlight, but in this other application interface. Now we already talked about the new design but there are some things I really hate about this design. For example look at these switches. Who the hell designed these? Or this trash icon. Who told them to make this shape? Have you ever seen a trash look like this? Okay speaking of ugly icons if I create a folder on my desktop and just call it subscribe what you by the way should do i can right click the folder and choose a folder color for example red and now my folder is red and here i have another folder like and we'll make this orange and and another test folder that is blue and test one so now we have two customized folders and two normal folders and now i can go into the system settings app then to appearance and change the folder color for all folders for example from now on all my folders that i didn't customize are pink and another cool thing is that folders now indicate if something is in them. For example, if I drag test one into test, the icon slightly changed. This one has a little white bar and this one doesn't. Let's continue, you can now customize your control center, like on the iPhone, drag new items in, pretty cool. And some of you may have heard about the Apple Journal app, well now it is natively on macOS. But now let's be honest, is anyone using this? There's also now the phone app on macOS, which I think is pretty cool, but I don't have anything here because I'm on Android. Now let's move to the boring, fun stuff, Apple Intelligence. First, if you go to the Image Playground app, there's now the Genmoji style. So I could, for example, do a thumbs down emoji, combine it with flower emoji, and the emoji should be blue, and I get a blue thumbs down emoji. Why are these looking so scary? What? Okay, and another style you can choose now is ChatGPT. So I think at this point, most of you heard about these new image creation tools from ChatGPT, especially in Studio Ghibli style. So I could, for example, create a sunset, but on the move, and it's a disco with robots. Much, much, much later. And after 10,000 hours, I get just a picture of the moon. Great work, Apple. The next new thing is the shortcuts app. If I create a new shortcut, I can have Apple intelligence in my shortcut. For example, I can adjust the tone of a text. The tone is friendly and the text is subscribe. Or I can proofread my favorite sentence. Or rewrite that sentence. Or summarize this sentence. Or make a list from that sentence. Or make a table from that sentence. Of course, this is the most stupid way of using Apple intelligence in shortcuts. Apple made some better examples, but I'm not Apple. As you can see, I have this really important note here and the new feature is that I can export it as a markdown file. If you're interested, this is how our note would look like in markdown. Let's quickly talk about compatibility because this is a bit of a complex one. If you have a MacBook Air, you just need one with Apple Silicon. On the MacBook Pro side of things, it's way more complex. You can use macOS Toho on a 16-inch MacBook Pro from 2019, on a 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2020 with four Thunderbolt 3 ports or on any MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon. For all the iMac and Mac Mini users, you can use macOS Toho on the model from 2020 or later. You need a Mac Studio from 2022 or later or a Mac Pro from 2019 or later. And that is the new macOS 26 Toho. What do you think about it? Write it in the comments. And make sure to subscribe because I will make a lot of content about WWDC and the new macOS. And if the new video is already out, we'll see it right here on screen. Otherwise, you will see a random video from my channel where YouTube thinks you're interested in.